sure I have just what you need. Somewhere in the Cittadini di Roma, behold a sight most splendid. Caterina Sforza, she whore of Forli, has at last been brought to heel. Ha! No one kneels as low as Lucrezia Borgia. Who put you up to this? Was it your brother or your father? Perhaps a bit of both? Perhaps at the same time? Chiudi la bocca! None speak ill of the Borgia! The same will happen to any who defy us. Good people of Roma! Stay strong! You will be free! Your time will come! I swear it! They are going to torture her. You are here for Cesare and Rodrigo. Caterina is a powerful ally. If we help her now while she is weak, she will aid us in return. Perhaps. But kill Cesare and Rodrigo first. Forget the Pope, you only answer to me. Roma is the pillar that holds our entire enterprise aloft. She cannot waver, which means neither can you. What of Il Vaticano? That tired old man's club. Play along for now, but soon we will have no need of them.
Cesare. Lucrezia. I hope you have treated our guest with kindness. I've got a mouth on her. How I'd love to sew it shut. I'd rather like it open myself. Oh. <laughs> have you talked to the Pope about the funds requested by my banker? He is away from the Castello, and he might need some convincing when he returns. That shouldn't be a problem, should it? No. Only it gets quite lonely here. You and I spend so little time together these days, busy as you are with your other conquests. Soon. Once I have secured the throne of Italia, you are going to be my queen. And your loneliness will be a thing of the past. I cannot wait. Behave yourself while I am gone. Disappointed. Open her cell. How was the journey to Roma? Did you sit in Cesare's private carriage? You're pathetic, Lucrezia. What did he talk about? His plans for Napoli? Did you like it? I can't remember. Perhaps you will remember this. Ah! That puts you in your place. Lock it and give me the key. Anything else I can read, princess? <laughs> What are you doing here? Paying a visit to the tailor. Rescuing me will provoke Cesare's wrath. Fortunately for us, he is away. Any chance there is a second key? The guard handed his to Lucrezia, so I assume not. Do you know where she is? Her quarters are at the top of the castello. All right, stay here. That key is as good as mine. I'm not going anywhere.
I love you so. I want to sing it to the heaven. Please, you must whisper it only to yourself. If Cesare found out, who knows what he would do. Are you not newly widowed? He killed my husband. Oh. Cesare has always been jealous of my... What was that? I... I'm late for rehearsal. Farewell, my love. I heard the entire exchange, Mia Signora, and can vouch for it. Good. Tell Cesare. We shall see how it feels when the shoe is on the other foot. Yes, Signora. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. Please, continue. I did not mean to interrupt. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. How nice to finally meet after hearing so much. A pity Cesare is no longer here. He would have enjoyed this. My fight is not with you, Lucrezia. Free Caterina, and I will stand down. Impossible! Then you leave me no choice. Guards! leave you Arthur to cause trouble so you're coming with me scream however I will be forced to take your tongue ah! rescuing princesses from castles now you think you're doing great things, charging around, killing whomever you wish? <sighs> Do you know what became of the Patsy once your hunt was finished? Your dear friend Lorenzo stripped them of everything and threw them into prison, even those who played no part in the conspiracy. <laughs> <sighs> books. Poof! Just like that! <laughs> you ignored the consequences of your actions, content to set events into motion, but unwilling to see them through. Ignorant make easy targets. Whatever, my words are wasted here. Hypocrita. <laughs> Salute, Lucrezia. How I've missed you. By a farty fotter at Troia. Always a pleasure. Bring her here, I'll take the key. Classy. Guards! Guards! <coughs> That's enough out of you! Can you walk? No. I guess we are going out the front.
Wait here. As if I have a choice. You have a family. It is not your family. Come, Ezio. This way. That night at the villa, I had to ensure our allegiance to protect Forni. Do you understand, Ezio? E la politica. Of course. I knew it. I did not explain. Don't you dare! <laughs> Figlio di putana! Never do that to me again! Seems to open from over there.
Hurry, Ezio. Ride across the bridge. I will cover you. Go to Isola Tiberina. Find Machiavelli there. You'll be waiting for me. What about you? Someone has to stay here and distract the guards. Get back in one piece, or I will never forgive myself. Go!
Ezio. Where is Machiavelli? I could not find him. I brought the Contessa here. Caterina. Care to tell us where you have been? Looking for Ezio. What of Cesare and Rodrigo? Cesare rode off before I could get close to him. And Rodrigo was somewhere else entirely. That is odd. Rodrigo is usually at the Castello. Very odd indeed. What a waste. No offense. None taken. With Cesare gone to Urbino, we must build our forces. I thought we intended to strike now. Impossible. Cesare commands a massive army in Romagna. You would never reach him. I say we work here, in Roma. Erode the Borgia's influence while restoring our own. And in fact, I want to begin right now. Volpe, bring Claudia and Bartolomeo here. Machiavelli, meet me outside. Take care of her. Look, the Borgia rob everything from the people to maintain power. What do you intend to do? We will recruit him to our cause. You cannot be serious. To win this war, Machiavelli, we need loyal soldiers. By recruiting enemies of the state, we arm those who have been disarmed by the Borgia. Go then. Recruit our first novices. Assassin! The liberation of Roma has begun. If you choose to flee, do so now. But if you choose to fight, stand with me against the Borgia. I am tired of hiding in the shadows. I will join you. Then seek Niccolo Machiavelli on Isola Tiberina, and we will make you one of us. Their lies will no longer mask your truth. of Roma has begun. I could have taken them, but grazie. Say, which way are you going? Who did this? That monster, Malfatto! Did you see him? That way! Oh, 
Non ne molle! Requiescat in pace. Take your mother. Down that street. Good. Do you have some place to go for now? My uncles. Go there. Do not stop to talk to anyone. Ma 
must ensure the kidnappings continue. My children, Silvestro. To secure his reign, Cesare needs to control the populace. Tico keeps the... Requiescat in pace. Set bones, stick hard. Leonardo! I knew you were behind the break-in at Sant'Angelo. It is good to see you, friend. Come here. Forgive me. The Borgia have commandeered my services. Actually, they would have killed me had I refused. What do they want? War machines. I have constructed weapons for all the Borgia guards and other terrible monstrosities besides. They are very well designed, Ezio. Here, the names of the Templars overseeing their construction. Cesare intends to supply his army with my creations. You must dismantle them. Grazie. I will take care of the plans and the machines. There is far graver news, I am afraid. They have the apple. Yes, I know. I gave the apple to Mario. I am sorry, Ezio. Cesare left it in my hands to study, to make it work. Then Rodrigo took it from me. I know not where. I will recover it in time. Leonardo, I have lost all the Codex inventions you want fashioned for me. Hmm. Remaking them will be easy. I never forget the design. But you must compensate me for the raw material. Really? They are not paying you at Il Vaticano? Very, very little. If we are to do this, we must appear to not meet at all. A hand. Pointing. It's pointing to where you should sit. So sit. Yes, Maestro.
wait here. I will be back soon. I can kill double the guards. Desmond, I've scanned Leo's location into the map so you can keep track of him when he moves. To synchronize with Ezio, you will have to destroy Leo's machines. I've marked the whereabouts of the Templars overseeing their construction. I'll update the map where the machine's locations are found. You know what to do. Good Chianti to bring a certain man your head. A fair. Raven. Crash dead.
Where have you been? We all have our secrets. I took the liberty of setting up a means of communication with your recruits. We send orders via carrier pigeon. Thank you, Machiavelli. Bartolomeo sends his apologies. The French have doubled their assault. Claudia. Ezio. All right. I have a plan to deal with the Borgia. We can either go after supplies or Cesare's followers. My plan is to attack both. If we cut off his funds, Cesare will lose his army and return without his men. So, I ask you, where does he get his money? Volpe? Agostino Chigi is the Pope's moneylender, but Cesare does business with someone else. As of now, all we know is that he is called the Banker. I know someone who owes the Banker money. Senator Egidio Troche comes in all the time and complains. Bene, I will follow up on that lead. French soldiers are guarding the road back into the castello. Once Cesare arrives, you will never get to him. I intend to kill the French general. With him dead, Bartolomeo will have the Frenchmen on the defensive, and they will abandon their posts on the bridge. Even with those troops gone, the Papal Guard will continue to protect the inner gate. There is a side entrance. Lucrezia's latest plaything, Pietro, has a key. He was at the castello. Come see me later. I will have my thieves ascertain his location. Where are you going? I am of no use to anyone without Forley. I leave to be with my children and await the restoration of my lands. I wish you would stay. You are the leader of the assassins now. Unite them, Ezio Aditore, and take back Roma. Vittoria agli assassini! Vittoria agli assassini.